What dollar store is it? Oh, is there? Yeah. Is it one of the dollar stores? General family, one of the dollar types. Dollar Tree. No dollar. No. Amazon? <laughs> Wait, is it Amazon? It would be Amazon, wouldn't it? They don't have, well, they do have some stores. It's Amazon. Boom. Called it. Dang dubs. it. See, if I think of like stores, I don't think you, yeah, I wouldn't think, well, why Amazon? Although there are some Amazon stores. That's the thing. Uh, special Pat, for some reason, we're guessing like random list of like fast food restaurants or like highest, like dollar amount, like stores and stuff. I don't know why or where this came from, but we're doing it. We're here for it. So in the year 1947, what was the highest grossing retail store? Definitely like Sears, right? <laughs> Walmart probably beat Amazon, right? What was number one? Because yeah, what would be? It's probably Walmart. Microsoft. Microsoft. Walmart. I mean, Home Depot and Lowe's who had more revenue. Um, I hope Lowe's. Because I know somebody that works at Lowe's. <laughs> I don't know anybody that works for Depot. I know this year for those kind of companies have been, has been really bad. Last year was great. But this year sucks. So. Oh my God. At least that's what I've heard. Oh, it's that's right. unfortunate. What? Some random person I have on my snap from like my kind of area. Yeah. They're down in uh, Dallas. Okay. Like up in the Frisco area. All right. And they went down by the star. Okay. And if you don't know what that is, that's where Tim Tatman's tailgate is. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a lot of people down there. <laughs> We're going to have like, to fight you work for Home Depot. I didn't say I worked for Lowe's. I have one of my brothers is a, uh, he, he works for Lowe's. We're just going to say that much. Yeah. As the Scott, I don't know how accurate these lists are, my guy. I was thinking you were saying he went to a, to a rodeo and I was like, where's Pepper? Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> Pepper's there right now. I can't wait to see, like, hopefully there'll be, like, an actual video put out about the tailgate, I bet right? there'll be a pretty highly long edited, edited video of yeah. the entire tailgate. I'm, I'm here for that. I'll watch it. I don't think I would go to something like that, but I'll watch a video about it. Like, sure. For sure, for sure. Left, it's like you're just stalking me, waiting for me to fill up. Are you even awake in there? I can't tell with your tinted windows. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I said, I can't see it with your tinted windows. Being Michael Myers, it's fine. <laughs> And we have what 14 yeah that won't be bad carson i'll just head that way right now here in a minute i might run up to 12 since i'm already over here oh, i forgot about 12. okay i'll come with you then we'll stay together and some work nah you go start on the far side of 14 and work towards the farm i'll start i'll work on the far side of 12 and work towards the farm <laughs> see how good that 9rt actually is Home Depot's having their bet. Really? Preston. Um. Hi. How's it going? Welcome in, peeps. How are y'all? Getting bullied, chat. Getting bullied. 
who opened it? Tony opened it but didn't respond. That's sad. He probably didn't get it. Probably not. Probably not. Oh. Wait, which one is that? Hold up. First time just sent me a news like link. Interesting. Sad I wasn't up at 3.20 in the morning last night, chat. Yeah, I say, can we just ban for that, please? Thank you, first time. <sighs> All right, Carson, you're on a true north-south line, correct? Uh, yeah. Chat, break out those beautiful ban hammers. I would appreciate them. We celebrate banning the idiots here, so... Let's roll it, chat. Saying no need, no need for that. I was looking at a news story. I didn't even see it, so <laughs> I was completely not paying attention. Carson, I'm surprised you didn't tell me about this today at all. What? The uh, news story that he sent me. I'm not gonna say anything about it on stream, but I know I'm looking at it. Yeah, because it wasn't on something else. Oh, uh, okay. Tony might have heard something. We'll just say that much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dang. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Never mind. Chat, thanks for the band hammers. I do appreciate you. Oh, customers told you about it? You know what, though? Was I out here still? No, I don't think I was out here still at 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't think I was. No, I went in before that. I was about two when I went in. Well, after two. I'll tell you what, Chad. I was getting frustrated last night with my PC. Hit it. Every time I would load in the stream, I was editing the stream from Thursday last night, right? I know, slacker. And every time I would do my little YouTube intro, as soon as the video would get past that, it would crash the program. And I was like, man, I never have this problem. Like, what's going on? Like, the, I could watch the video just fine, like, out of the editor. And finally, I realized there was a Windows update, and my PC needed to restart. Restarted the PC, completely fine after that. I was having audio like dips yesterday really bad. Oh, really? Updated the PC, went away. My stream PC, I haven't restarted yet, because I was like, no, I'm streaming tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not restarting it if I don't have to. So I'll do that like, before. Like Monday. it would just like I was trying to watch a Larson's video and it would just go then it go away and then I come back later. So it's very annoying. I see what you're doing. Okay. It's it. very annoying. Hit it with the band hammer. I don't think there's any band hammers left, big guy. We used them all just now. Oh no, there. There's always more, right, Troy? You better believe that. <laughs> There's an infinite supply of band hammers, Chot. Yeah. Had to update. Ah, gotcha, Scott. Gotcha. I need to do it. I just, yeah. Also, Premiere Pro wasn't working, too. Just sort of after that bit. Okay, last list. Top. And cities in the U.S. This list is very interesting. The fine largest. Probably by population, right? Can we use this in a definition? Or can we use this in a sentence? 
like a spelling bee. Uh, yeah, a little more clarification first. Is it by population? Are we talking about gross income? Are we talking largest by population? Banhammer's brought to you by Lowe's. Oh man, we need a sponsor for the Banhammer. That's a good idea first. Okay, so we definitely have to New York. New York City. LA. Um Chicago is in there. I'm not saying in order, but Chicago is definitely in there. Dallas. San Francisco. Dallas, San Francisco. Atlanta. That's at five. Yeah, Atlanta, Houston. Houston. I want to say there's probably one in Florida, but I don't know. Denver? Not Atlanta. Really? Is Denver in there? I don't know if Denver would be in there. Boston? Boston's Boston. definitely in there, yeah. Boston, Boston, Mass. DC? Oh. Yeah. Washington, D.C. Seattle, um, maybe. I don't know. Portland. Carson's just naming cities. We're really bad at these lists, I think, is what we're learning. The hood? I mean, St. Louis. <laughs> we're the hood. What, dude, a geo guesser in St. Louis last night? What about Kansas City, though? I think St. Louis is, like, way bigger than Kansas City, right? Wait, actually, somebody looked it up. Population of St. Louis versus Kansas City. I'm pretty sure St. Louis is bigger. I know we have more murders here per, per capita. <laughs> We're like number two. They're like number eight. So, <laughs> got you there, Casey. Oh. I'm not saying they're on the list. I'm just saying in general. Uh, Casey's Casey's about about got a hundred thousand on you guys. Really? Kansas City has a hundred. Really? I would have never guessed that. A little over a hundred. Wow. Um, okay, never mind. Man, I don't know anything. Holy cow. Oh, I did not know that. Too many people. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're saying, Big Al. Casey's bigger. I, I would not have guessed that, but we have more murders per capita here. <laughs> I don't think you want to be proud of that. Gore boy. <laughs> <laughs> Get on our level, Casey. <laughs> Is the number one then? I don't I, seven, eight, and ten we're missing right now. And I don't know, just tell us. <laughs> oh yeah, nobody Seattle. lives in like city of St. Louis. What about Seattle? St. Louis doing more with less. Uh, that is probably why they have more people in KC, because nobody actually lives in St. Louis City, yeah. Kind of a big deal. Okay, Big L. Okay. I heard somebody say once, like, Kansas City is just the people that had the dreams of going west, and then they just got there and stopped. So, <laughs> that's what I heard once. Oh, we missed all the sands. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, I heard that once. I was like, that's great. Pretty funny. We have more funeral homes. Well, of course they're busy. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't we? Just saying. They're also busy. Yeah. Messed up, chat. It's messed up. I'm telling you that Geo Gesser St. Louis last night was so funny. I mean, this for some reason we were in an alleyway in like North St. Louis City, and like there was more trash there than there was in a landfill. Like it was, it was really bad. Five years ago, St. Louis had more people. Wow. People are dying to move. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. 
I think it's the other way, but okay. No, so five years ago, St. Louis had more than Kansas City. Yeah. I mean, it's the surrounding area around St. Louis that has all the people. St. Louis, like, actual city is terrible. Like, there, nobody lives there. So. More trash than landfill must be talking about Baltimore. No. Talking about St. Louis, Missouri. It was awful. In the 1800s, we were the third or fourth largest city. Wow. That's crazy. Because of all the murders, it's less. Well, true. True. I don't know. He chose more surrounding areas. That's, I mean, it's probably what it is here, too. It's the same thing. Like, not a lot of people want to live, like, downtown. It's too dangerous here. So you don't blame them. Oh, definitely things change. Yeah, if you're talking city or metro. Because, I mean, technically, I'm in the St. Louis metro. And there's a ton of people out here where we live. So, yeah, that definitely skews the, uh, skews the numbers a little bit, right? Changes them. Nine hours. Nine hours and 17 minutes and 35 seconds. But who's counting? Not me. Clearly, not me. Yep, we are. We'll be here till uh, about 10 o'clock or so. Probably not going super late tonight. I think we're going to get into some Fortnite after stream tonight. Ooh. Maybe look for that in Discord. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. If you guys are interested, look forward in the Discord. I got you, Scott. Yeah. I got you there, Scott. You love the streams that make you happy. Well, thank you for being here. I do appreciate it, man. And I try, even if I'm not, like, being funny and stuff. Like, I, you know? I, I can't be a stand-up comedian every day. You know, chat? Well, I got a concert downtown. What? They've got a concert downtown tonight. Like your town or my town? My town. Okay. I can feel my like, like the windows on the house are shaking from the subs. <laughs> and roughly, yeah, I can hear it. Roughly, how far away from you is it? The drive, it's about four minutes. But as oh. like, the crow flies. Is the crow? Yeah. That's a lot of like with my town because like my neighborhood's kind of like yeah a pain to get to. I gotcha. Which is nice because like there's no one here unless something happens, like today. But it's probably two mi two and a half miles miles. Uh, first time sent me a shirt chat. He put it in a DM. He said he would donate to charity if I wore it on stream. Um, I have to lose about 150 pounds to be able to fit into that shirt because I don't have any fat man sizes first off. It's a funny shirt. Otherwise, I would, <laughs> you wouldn't even have to donate. That's a great shirt. <laughs> I think I'd have to lose a ton of weight first. <laughs> they don't They don't have it in uh, fluffy guy sizes, okay? I'm going to put it here so you both can see it. Okay, what's that? <laughs> Carson, why? <laughs> Carson, oh, did you see the one with the Christmas lights, Carson? Yeah. That was the first one that popped up on the bottom. Oh, the Christmas light ones are so good. Anyway, sorry, chat. Wow. There used to be a Mexican restaurant. And again, as the crow flies, it's not that far away, but like to get there, it's kind of far. Kind of, but not really. Yeah, like if I was standing on my front porch in the winter, like I could almost see where this restaurant used to be. Okay, but but Mexican restaurant Cinco de Mayo. 
bro, they would bump the music, right? They would set up like a live band outside and just bump the music till like late. And it was always a thing like, hey, go outside and listen to, you know, some music. Kind of funny. If it wasn't so hot, I would open my window and listen to it. But it is way too hot for that. <laughs> oh, goodness. They did that for years and years and years until that place closed. And now it's not open anymore. Kind of sad. Not. All at the same time. I think all of ever went there like once. Maybe it's wife, I don't remember. But it was funny how they would just absolutely bump the music out of that place. It's like, good gosh. But there were no homes right there, so nobody cared. And they would only go to like maybe 10 o'clock at night. Or 11 o'clock at night or something. It's pretty awesome, though. You're not wrong, first time. You're not wrong. That's funny, though. That is funny. The stuff they put on a t shirt they face chat, you know? Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Like, straight out of St. Louis. Or, as I said, stay out of St. Louis. Stay. Hey. <laughs> Why first time? It's so vivid. Like, that must Why be is like, it like such high quality picture, like image on it. There's no, I kind of just want to buy one to see if it actually looks that good. There's no shot, dude. You would have people trying to like eat your shirt. Oh my God. They make it in a hoodie. And they have lagging, like jogging pants the same. Why? Why, chat? Just why? I'm actually glad that they get, they did a model with like tattoos. So. Yeah. Like Looks like it's a tour to France uniform. Where's Holy <laughs> Goaty at when you need him? <laughs> He's a big tour de France guy. Oh, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's never good when Sarge posts his link. Post the link. Oh, you'll like that one. Oh, is this that? Okay. Heard a. Played a concert so loud it was heard 11 miles away, Sarge. Yeah. That's. That's loud. That's, that's really loud. I heard for shopping in Walmart. Now, usually, Scott, that's just no shirt. If you're shopping in Walmart, like maybe one shoe. You want to stick that shirt in the microwave, Big Al? <laughs> oh, goodness, that's funny. Yeah, I just, I don't know why. The ideas that people come up with, I swear. 126,000, that's not bad. Not bad. All right, back we go. We got the backup skills going on over there. Let's go. All right, I'm starting to agree with you guys. We need a third combine for the record. Left, what are you doing? I don't like turning around. Oh. More efficient to point the one direction, and then he turns around. Never mind. I just want to make sure he had enough for a few passes. Uh. I could have probably done this entire field on one tank. Yeah. Mm, actually, it's the higher yielding field. The man, we will catch you later. Have a great night. Thanks for hanging out, as always. We'll catch you later. Microwave with that shirt, it'll taste better than the actual product. Probably. I mean, ramen's okay. I still haven't had ramen in forever. We talked about ramen on that stream, and then I never had ramen after that. 
because I was totally going to make some that night, but first time came in the house and or came into the kitchen and he started using the pot I was going to use and the burner I was going to use and I was just like, oh, and I walked away. I sadly came back out here to the garage with no ramen. <laughs> That's okay. It happens. It definitely happens. I need to fix it from that after this harvest too. Definitely need to fix. I was gonna have chicken that night, uh, Big Al. It's regular old chicken ramen. It was gonna be delicious, but it's okay. It happens, right? Definitely need another, another combine. I think we need another build. Need that to go. Definitely need it. I need a, like a 10 minute power nap before Fortnite, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I bet there's another update for that game too, so you know, it'll take a few minutes probably, right? I forget how many gigs I downloaded earlier today. Or not today, but Thursday night I think I downloaded. Don't ask me why, Chad, I had reinstalled Warzone. I made sure Fortnite was up to date. The only one I didn't check was uh Oh, what's it called? Uh Light Zone. Nah, uh, we're playing off stream. We're not gonna play Fortnite on stream now. All right, now I'm not opposed to playing Fortnite on stream. For the record, I'm not. The fun game, especially with the no build, and if you have the Spidey hands, Spidey hands make that game so different. Just say, oh, they're so great. Love them. Can't handle the stream snipers. No. Been streaming for almost 10 hours. I don't need to stream anymore, right? I'm looking at cameras, okay. Okay. Like, like camera page, more or less. I like lenses and stuff. Well, I'm looking at lenses eventually. Uh, Peter Men, we're on Westbridge. Sorry, go ahead. My bad. Been told that maybe there's a different one I should look at by parents. Okay. Instead of such an expensive one. Yeah. But the other one that I want doesn't do 4k oh like it like n like zero 4k like not even 24 30 60 fps oh wow it's kind of lame i'm like they're like we'll get you that one but i'm like but i was like this is what's gonna happen it'll get here start using it a month later i'll be like i need a new one i need 4k it's like yeah even though your court even if you're not uploading in 4k Still looks better to record in 4K. Because if you punch in zoom at all, yep. There's there's just so much more pixels packed into there. It'll still look better. Okay. Jacob, you just lost power on your map. No water. Uh oh. RIP, my guy. Have fun starting a new map. Yeah, no. It, it the higher quality you have going in, the higher quality you'll have going out. You know. Mm-hmm. Always better to have higher quality, if possible. Yeah, even if you're just making dumb YouTube videos and you don't upload in 4K necessarily, which you could. I mean, you've got the internet for that. Must be nice. I don't have a 4K screen. Well, there's that too. Well, I guess I've got my phone screen. <laughs> but like, I've only got a... 144 hertz 2k monitor i mean technically you don't need 4k to edit 4k okay no. technically speaking i would say i don't know many people that record and upload 4k actually i do but they also record in 8k any of those like old drone videos i made those were all 4k back in the middle yeah if it, especially if it was a daddy for like a drone video. 
I would do those in four. Because why not? Mostly because I could, you know? But yeah. All right, so I don't know where header carts are at, but I'm just going to, you know, pitter-patter down the road. and Well, there's no traffic. We have that turned off. We'll be fine, chat. That's the Minus. camera that I want. Yeah. Is the one that I ended up teaching one of the instructors how to use. Oh. It's that one that I want. You're like familiar with it. Yeah, because I've used like I've act like I've actually used it, not just looked at a whole bunch of YouTube videos on how to use it. I've actually used it before. I got you. And then left because yeah, no. Oh, back when you were in that class, okay. Yeah. When you knew more than the teacher, yeah. yeah. This is an input device. It's a keyboard. Really? Wasn't really? there one day where you covered just how to like import footage to the editor? And it was like hours. That class started at eight and got over at eleven. Yeah. And it was we how got, to import they, footage, right? They gave us a ten or 15, like ten fifteen ish minute break. About an hour and a half way through. Okay. But, which is also, I also kind of, this kind of funny, is a tech class, but they, but they pick up your, they, she made us put our phones up. Oh. Like, if we went outside to record or anything, my phone recorded better than all but one camera in that, <laughs> that room. Wow. And it was the camera that, it was their only 4K camera. Yeah. But. We spent an hour and a half, we spent actually like two and a half hours on how to import. And then. Literally, it's the simplest drag and drop, just in case somebody knows. All right, well, file, the way they file open. The way they first showed us was like, oh, like they were like, oh, like they're like, first you got put in like the memory card, then open the editor, then open the, the file finder. Cause it's, cause we just macked. Like Max, so it's Finder, yeah. where's your file explorer? Yeah. Then you gotta have, she's like, it's easier to have this on this screen and then it on this screen so you can just see it. Oh my God. I'm like, oh, and lady. then, but then how she explained it was you have to like click in the top, go to file, scroll down to find import, which then reopens Finder. It's like, or you can just click here, drag it across the screen and drop it on the timeline and it's there. Wow. So you do the exact same thing. Some people, man. Some people. Hey, it's 82 feels like 90 now. It's finally starting to cool down a little bit. If nothing else, I need a few minute break after I'm done streaming. To take the computers and put them in the low power mode, basically. And let stuff chill before we start getting sweaty in Fortnite. Nitrogen? That's a good idea. Liquid nitrogen? Just dump it. I don't think that would be good for him, Carson. Why? I have a feeling that would break stuff. But, I mean, I could be wrong, right? Could be wrong. Just don't think that would be too good. The Harley Quinn pack's back out. Do what? The Harley Quinn pack's back out in Fortnite. Oh, you're already in Fortnite, huh? I, I may have checked to see if there's a download. Oh, okay. I didn't have one, but... Uh, controller or mouse and keyboard for Fortnite? I'm a controller, or, uh, sorry, mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I play mouse and keyboard. I don't know, I guess I have played a little Fortnite on keyboard, but... Not... On controller. I don't want you to get mad and break your new controller down. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to use my old controller, the old standard black one, a demon. Why? Because I play keyboard and mouse. I'm a demon. Okay. I just have fun. Looking forward to dropping like a 20 kill game tonight. You know, haven't mm -hmm. touched that game in months. I'll probably go in and drop a 20 kill on, on the bots, you know, but Hey, I'm cool with it. Yeah. NK, what's up? Wait, Carson, what's your rank in there? Not very high. I haven't played Fortnite in a long time, actually. I think the last time me and Carson played was with an actual player. So. Oh. 
We were levels one and two. And I'm, we got marked by a, a level 30. I'm playing on PC, by the way. We're on PC right now. Hints by the GPS mod that I'm using right now. Oh, yeah. That's why. Is our silo actually full? Oh, it probably is, actually. You did this field as a grass bailing contract for quite some time? Yeah, it does. You guys didn't sell corn. Um, how much corn do we have? Almost 400. And wheat's at almost and 400. 400 wheat, yeah, okay. 400, 400, and 150. <laughs> Yeah, but what's the price on it there? Yeah. Uh, looks like you sell it in June. So we missed that one. And we sell that in December. We can sell the wheat in December. Um, just pile it for now. Everything full, I guess? As far as uh, our silos are, yes. What are you asking about? Yeah, that's what I was asking. Yeah, apparently it's full. Yeah, apparently it's full. Bigger. Diablo's a hundred. Dang. Dang, Sam Camp. Did he battle pass or something? Because don't you get rank for battle pass? Yeah. Like a lot, right? Front row. I don't know. Just pile it up like captain of industry, yes. Absolutely. 100%. Uh, you wish you would have played my, or my mouse and keyboard to start. I could see that, yeah. Just don't, feel, don't get me started on that stupid limestone last night, chat. Um, I mean, we only have this one field. We've got the... We can got... sort out the train. Hold on. Oh, that's true too, yeah. We can sort out the train. Okay, this thing does not pick up, like, grains. I was thinking it would, but it does not. Yeah, just sort out the train. There's plenty of room down there. I don't need to buy any extensions. Send it to the train. It doesn't even work. Exactly. <laughs> we'll forget it's down there. Hashtag fix your game joints. Please. I said please, they have to, right, chat? That's how it works. Right? Right? Oh, man. And by the way, I start, well, I guess I started mouse and keyboard gaming, but, like, I was console for a long time. Yeah. Now, if I play a game like, say, Halo, I have to use a controller because it just feels wrong. It just feels wrong to me. But I, the, all the Halo I've ever played, except, or not Halo, all the Fortnite I've ever played, except for like maybe half an hour, has been mouse and keyboard. So. Don't worry, I left. I took a pass that was like one row. <laughs> that was what I did. Oh. Coming back up here, kind of. I love it. So what he's saying is you have time. I say I just saw him driving away from me. Oh. I think I had maybe 150. Well, you're on. A whole pass, maybe. The low performing end of the field too. What do I think about Halo being bought by Sony? I didn't know it was bought by Sony. That's kind of sad, honestly. That's yeah, kind of sad. I'm going to be honest, though. Honestly, since, like, Halo 2, Halo Reach, Halo has just kind of sucked, in my opinion. Um, I played a lot of Halo Wars, the first one. And, like, Halo 3, I didn't really care, for, care about, to be honest, at all. Halo 4, didn't care. Halo 5, didn't care. Uh, what is the Halo on PC, the infinite halo infinite or whatever don't care um maybe it's just i moved on from halo that's probably what it is more than anything but like 
Halo will always have a special place in my heart, and I'll, you know, the music, let's be real, is great, but, like, I just kind of don't care about Halo anymore in a weird way. So like, okay, it's going to be on PlayStation next year, whatever. I guess it's a little sad, but it is what it is. Yeah, I moved on and started playing Farm Sim. So. Oh, man. Farm Sim took me out of the Halo game, that's for sure. It really did. So I was still playing all the Halo. <laughs> yeah, I was still playing a ton of Halo when I found Farm Sim, uh, the first one there. Not as much though, because Halo, the Halo 2 days were the glory days. My opinion. I had 67,000 online kills in Halo 2. A lot of hours. A lot of good memories. A lot of stuff, a lot of stories I can't necessarily tell y'all. Or don't want to tell y'all. But like, great memories, great stories. I had, I had so many random nicknames that I, I can't tell y'all. Like, people would, yeah, I made a lot of friends on Halo 2. And I don't talk to any of them anymore, but I made a lot of friends on Halo 2 back in the day. So, yeah. It was a, it was a really good, really good time, you know? Halo Wars, I reached the, uh, I achieved the highest level in multiplayer in Halo Wars, which was like, such a nightmare. That was a grind to get to the highest level in multiplayer. Oh my. I was the demon that like, I would start the game and it, it, within like 30 seconds of playing a multiplayer match, I would know if I was gonna win or lose. And I would just quit if I knew I was gonna lose. So I could get to the next match, you know? Cause I always played like the death match mode and, and like you just knew. Cause your population was controlled by how many bases you had. And if you only had one or two bases, you were done. If you could get like three to four to jump off the jump, you were great. Because you would build your population and just go steamroll the other, the other guy. And uh, yeah, if I only would get one or two, I would just quit, move on. And I, I, oh, that was a grind. But it was so much fun. So much fun. So yeah, really before Halo, it was like Age of Empires and Pharaoh, that kind of stuff is what I played. Although Age of Empires really isn't, doesn't have the same spark for me anymore either. I can't, I and mean, I can play it, but it's definitely not the same for me like it used to be. Yeah. Age of Empires, you love those games? Yeah, they were great. Yeah, and then Pharaoh is supposedly coming out with like a 4K fancy version of the game sometime this year, hopefully. And uh, definitely plan on playing that. Uh, I want to try to beat the game. I've never actually beat that game. I always get stuck on this one level where you have to trade for all this, uh, or import all this uh, limestone to make a pyramid. And it's an absolute nightmare. So, yeah. I don't know if I'll stream any of that. We'll see. It would be a good stream game, though. Because it's like, you kind of do stuff and then you wait. You do stuff and wait. So it'd be a good, like, it'd be a good, like, chill kind of hang out with you guys game, you know? Be pretty sick. Be pretty sick. I never played Command & Conquer, no. Played Caesar three a lot. Nice, very nice. Is limestone my Achilles heel? Why? I have plenty of limestone. I don't know what was going on with my limestone last night. I just was getting annoyed with it. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why it kept breaking like that. Backyard baseball. That was fun. Yeah. I used to uh, play a lot of wiffle ball. For some reason, chat, and don't ask me why, 
I was hanging out with my buddy uh, lives next door. You guys know my buddy Casey. It was his brother. And for some reason, we were playing like baseball, with, like a like a wiffle ball bat, so like a plastic bat, and we had these little plastic balls, and they were they were golf ball test balls. They're like practice balls, right? But for some reason, we were playing baseball with them. And this one had like, just the way it was made, it had like these sharp kind of edges. Buddy hit it, it hit me in the neck and left like perfect marks on my neck for like days. It was pretty sick, not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh. Bear, I didn't even think about that. My whole life's been about limestone. That mean I'm gonna get like killed by limestone someday? Like, how's that gonna work? Oh man, the pattern is starting. <laughs> There's a pattern here. It was not a hickey, bro. <laughs> Definitely not, Scott. <laughs> no, because if you had the ball, you could just like put it to my, my neck and be like, oh yeah, that's totally from that. I'll see if I can find one of those over in his garage. I bet they're still there. Wouldn't surprise me. No, definitely not, Scott. Wish. But definitely not. Um, that's a lot of numbers. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. You're going to make sure my headstone's made of limestone. Oh, man. Under this limestone lies John. He didn't like limestone. <laughs> that's not that's not a thing, right? That's granite usually, isn't it? Marble, something like that. A limestone. Oh goodness. Let's not do that, okay? What are you first time in a, what's what's up, Bert? I guess he's still here here still here he may not be around his computer uh currently i don't know i don't know okay boy. Oh, he is around his pc hey yo whoa 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 bird In it. Gotcha. And it capital of the world. <laughs> nice. Guys, uh, guys, guys. First off, the, the, the incident with the golf ball thing. I was like 10. This, this. <laughs> Vehicle pathing is kind of trash. It's interesting, yeah. Bert, it's like hot in here, man. I'm like sweating. That's why I'm red, okay? I'm, I'm suffering from heat stroke. Okay? <laughs> Dang it, Sand Camp. <laughs> Uh, the <clears throat> I have no idea where the BMW like and where they or her parents even moved from, but they would they did not live in this neighborhood way back then. Okay, Bert. No sir. No sir. Oh man, why you guys always got to go there, huh? Why? Always. I would have made her what seventeen? No, if I was. Hey, isn't she older? She's ten years older than me. Hey yo. So like, unless I'm like young, it's like that's still weird, bro. Wasn't that what this girl older than you too? Uh. Hey yo, let's not let's no. Uh, -uh that's like go to jail stuff. That's go to jail territory. We don't need to talk about that, chat. 
I think she's 10 years older than me. I don't even, I don't even know. What's that? You, you all think I know so much about this person. Really? I really don't. That's what's funny about it to me. Just saying. Well, yeah, for her, obviously. But like, oh, you guys. This is never going to end, is it, chat? Oh. Same camp? Easy. All right. Chad, is it 10 o'clock yet? Two minutes. My headphones cut out. I can't hear you. Two minutes. Hello? Hello? Big Al, have a good night. Oh, hello. I can hear myself now. Wow. I got really loud. Big Al, we'll catch you later, man. Have a good one. First time, don't give Carson ideas. Don't, don't do it. Don't do that. Ah. There's no grandkids. There's no, no cable guy. You had to go dig for that one, didn't you? Yeah, no. Charged? No, nobody was ever charged. Nobody, no. You guys, okay, listen, listen. Listen, chat. I didn't know who this person was until like a week before Thanksgiving last year. Okay? So chill. Chill. I don't think I've actually said that. But I mean, it's probably not false first time. Uh, there's no speculation. I'll tell you everything that happened, chat. You all already know this. Unless you're new, but everybody else knows this already. All right. If anything, my buddy Casey's talked to her more than I have, okay? So, rat, pick on Casey, chat, huh? He's not here. He's hard to pick hey, on. Casey's not here. Yeah, let me give you his phone number, Carson, okay? Do it. Yeah, right. You probably wouldn't even answer. He'd be like, oh, just some telemarketer. Probably. And he would come in and team speak sometime and be like, yeah, some random telemarketer called from Oklahoma. Oh, yeah, that was me. I had some random I'm person call me from Texas. And somebody call me from Texas. I actually had a voicemail from some, like a call, one of those calls the other day. Mm -hmm. And they're like, this is spectrum communication. And I was like, okay. And they're like, your current account is eligible for a 60% reduction in price. And I was like, um, first off, I don't have a spectrum account. I don't have, it's not in my name. They do have my phone number because I've called so much and complained. And I give like the, the text my number. So like, I was like, okay, this could be like half legit, but I'm not going to call it back because hopefully one of these days we're going to dump spectrum. Uh, King Richard, you don't think, you know, really, I have to go through the story again. Yes. Uh, that story. Once upon a time. I'm on that list. Yeah. Probably. I'm on the do not answer list. When I call, they don't answer. I star 67 them. Just saying. <laughs> All right. So here's the whole story. Okay. I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the link that first time posted. <laughs> knows the story too all right so here's the whole story chat very innocent um been a couple years ago these these people moved in uh two houses down for me last november ish we're gonna use ish timeline here because you know 
protecting people's privacies ish, you know? Uh, last last <laughs> November <laughs> ish. Oh, Scott. Scott, you're right. Maybe they think I'm the account holder because I might pretend to be the account holder. You didn't hear that, though. It was not a cold <laughs> winter night. It was the middle of the day. Anyway, so uh, I was putting Christmas lights up at my buddy Casey's house, and this person pulled up who had backed out of the driveway from that house where the older couple moved in. And she's like, hey, is Casey around? And I was like, oh, no, 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 he's not around. And she was like, well, who are you guys like at his house? So I was like, oh, we live like right here, you know, like right next door. She's like, oh, okay, cool. She proceeded to tell me that um, her mom had recently passed and she wanted me to let Casey know because they're neighbors of Casey's and she, they kind of knew Casey a little bit, right? So I said, oh yeah, I'll pass the word along. I'm very sorry, blah, blah, blah. We talked for like three seconds. She might have been sitting in a black BMW as she was, you know, I'm saying chat. Anyway, she drove away. I finished working on lights. I told Casey later. Fast forward to like February ish. Ish. Um, we got a bunch of snow. We had like six, eight inches of snow here. Okay. And wait, you know, uh oh, I don't need to tell the story then. Right. I just stopped the story. Oh, I should just stop the story then if King Richard knows. All in favor of stopping the story? Aye. Good talk. All right. Yep. <laughs> I'll save you that. Thanks, Sarge. Yep. <laughs> anyway, I cleaned some snow and then, like, yeah. I should publish a book. <laughs> it would be a very short story, uh, plugger. Wow, person. <laughs> Look at what Lev said. <laughs> you guys are inappropriate. <sighs> you want to you know, chat? Hang on. There's people that don't know. Hold up. All right. So we'll get back to it. All right. Listen. All right. So, so February comes around, right? There would be a lot of blood. Wow, same here. So February comes around, and we get like a six, eight inch snowstorm, right? I think eight or nine. I don't even remember. It was a bunch of snow. For us in Missouri, that's a lot here in St. Louis, anyway. So, me being the nice lad that I am, I, I obviously I cleaned my driveway, which that's not being nice. That's just part of you know having a house anyway. Uh, I cleaned off Casey's driveway, and then I was like, you know what? For old time's sake, because the house next door to him. There was always this old lady that lived there and she was like the neighborhood grandma growing up. Like she was always, she lived there for a long time. She was the original homeowner. She passed away like six years ago now. Okay. Something five years ago, whatever. So I was like, for old time's sake, I'm going to go clean that driveway. Plus I know that guy's a widow, widower, right? Isn't that the term? Widowy, widower, whatever. Guy lost his wife. He's older. He shouldn't do it. So I go down there and clean the driveway, being a nice lad, right? That's it. Valentine's, no. It has nothing to do with Valentine's or, no. Anyway, so I clean the driveway and he comes out when I'm almost done and says, hey, uh, he knew I was the guy from up the street. He's like, oh, did my daughter contact you? And I was like, no. And he goes, oh, well, he's, she has somebody like coming to the house to clean the driveway. And I was like, oh, well, it's done now. Wait. And so he goes, Hey, my, can you, can I get your phone number? My daughter would like to, you know, talk to you and thank you for doing it. And he tried to pay me. And of course I said, no, cause I was just being a nice neighbor chat, you know? And, uh, so I talked to him for a few minutes. I finished cleaning the driveway. I come in the house. I have a text message from her that says basically like, Hey, call me when you get a chance. I want to like talk to you. I was like, all right, bet no big deal. So. I call her and we talked for 18 minutes. Oh, I left out a part. There might have been a blushy face emote in the text, which Very apparently crazy. people are freaking out about. Or maybe two of them. But anyway, 
Uh, we talked. It's okay. We talked for like 18 minutes, and it was a very innocent conversation about how she lost her mom and how thankful she was. And we talked about like losing both of our parents because like I've lost my mom, she lost her mom. Like it was a whole thing. And uh, that was pretty much the extent of the conversation. Okay. And then I started live streaming actually that afternoon. And she texted me a couple more times because she wanted to save my contact in her phone in case something was going on with her dad. She knows that I'm, I'm close, you know, just in case. I don't know. Maybe the old man gets locked out and needs somewhere to sit in the air conditioning for a few minutes in the summer. I don't know. You never know, right? So I gave her my phone number. Well, she had my phone number. She texted me asking me what my house address was. I texted her back and then she asked me what my last name was. I texted her back and that was the end of it. There was no more conversation. There's no more texts. There's no more phone calls. I haven't even seen her since then. Okay. Ran away from you. <laughs> Maybe check up on her. Wow. But anyway, that's the story. And I had to tell, I told chat the story that day because like I was late. I was like 30 minutes late to stream. Cause I got in late from cleaning the snow. It sounds like a thing. It's not a thing though. That's the whole okay. thing. Well, now let's get off of the bias opinion. And first time, what's your part of the story? I want to hear first time side, the non-bias. What about edited. the Chili's parking lot? Oh. What about this? Okay, chat. I didn't mention that she's 10 years older than me and she's married. Okay. And I'm not interested at all. Like, I know I'm almost 35 and single, but like, I I'm good. You know what I mean? I'm okay. Still a past dog. Yeah, it's still, it's still a no for me. You know, first off, she's married. And, and second off, I think she'd be somebody I'd be into. You know what I'm saying, chat? No. But man, it's been months farm. of months and months and months of stream content out of this one story. Yeah. Yeah, not at all. Fair. Not at all, man. Yeah, details matter. Yeah, no, I just it's just not 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 for Maybe me. Some uh, ding dongs. Cable guy underscore oh. germs cheered dex 100. I drive a beamer and you plow driveways. Hey, I just met you and this is crazy, but here's my number. So call me, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the emphasis on the maybe. <laughs> yeah, first time didn't even know about it when it happened. So like, you know, yeah. But first time likes to bring it up a whole lot. The BMW girl story, Sean, there's, but, but it got brought up again, you know? It's the story that just keeps on giving. Just saying. Oh. oh, man. It just won't stop. Okay, well, guys, thanks for the uh, bits, by the way. I do appreciate you. Thank you. Uh. Much appreciate it. But yeah, that's the story. Super innocent. I was just being a good neighbor, you know? Like, I feel bad for the guy losing his wife. Like, they moved here from, like, a small town to be close to their kids. And then, like, not even a year later, I think it was, like, 10 months, she just, like, gets a really, really bad cancer and died within, like, six weeks. Or not even that long. I think it was, like, three weeks. So, like, you feel bad for the guy, right? I do. I don't know. Okay. Uh, chat, we're going to call it a night. We're done. Uh, we are... We're done for the night. Oh, we sold milk. $81,000. Let's go. We're done, chat. Anyway, we have a demo combined, apparently. We should buy a real one, not a demo. How about two new ones? How about... Three new ones. We don't have money for that. I'll be back. I'll talk to you guys in TS in a little bit. Good Fortnite, time. update it. Okay. Those of you watching over on YouTube, have a great rest of your day. And as always, uh, toodles.